वन आफ्टरनून बिट्टू वॉज सुपर एक्साइटेड टू वॉच हिज फेवरेट कार्टून ही क्विकली सैट ऑन द सोफा पिकड द टी वी रिमोट एंड क्लिक नथिंग हैपेंड द टी वी डिडेंट टर्न ऑन बिट्टू वॉज कन्फ्यूज फॉर अ मोमेंट बट देन इंस्टेड ऑफ गेटिंग अपसेट ही डिसाइडेड टू बिकम अ लिटिल साइंटिस्ट he said to himself hmm why isn't the remote working he guessed maybe the batteries are dead to check he took the batteries out of the remote and put them into one of his battery operated toys but the toy didn't work either batteries were really dead so he replaced them and tada the remote worked so bit to learned dead batteries can make remote stop working now let me ask you something have you ever wondered why do we see a rainbow after it rains why the stars twinkle at night or how a tiny seed becomes a big plant if you have ever asked such questions guess what you are already doing science because science begins with curiosity the desire to know more so hello my little learners welcome to the wonderful world of science in this video i will explain you the first chapter of the textbook curiosity for grade 6 so are you ready for an exciting journey full of questions answers and discoveries let's dive right in as human beings we have already been curious about our surroundings we start exploring our surroundings and asking questions right from our childhood did you enjoy discovering and exploring the world around you in the preparatory stage of school as you enter the middle stage we will continue this fascinating journey trying to explore and understand the beautiful world we live in and for that we have a new subject science so welcome to the wonderful world of science but what is science don't panic my students science is a way of thinking observing and doing things to understand the world we live in and to uncover the secrets of the universe think of it as a big adventure we ask questions explore the world and try to understand how things work for this the most important thing is to have curiosity which is where the title of this book comes from it means science is not just a subject in your timetable it's a way of thinking observing and doing things it's how we try to understand the world and even the secrets of the universe and the most important thing you need for science is curiosity that's why this book is named after it curiosity means the desire to know more read now let's read whether it is studying tiny grains of sand or massive mountains a leaf of grass or a vast forest there is always something new and exciting to discover have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered why the stars shine or watched a flower bloom and wondered how it knows when to open these are just a few of the many mysteries that science helps us unravel the most wonderful thing about science is that it is everywhere from the depth of the ocean to the vastness of outer space from what is cooking in the kitchen to what is happening on the playground some of the most ground breaking discoveries have often come from unexpected places it means whether it's a small grain of sand or a huge mountain everything has something interesting to tell from the ocean to outer space from the kitchen to the playground science is happening all around us science is like a giant and unending jigsaw puzzle 
every new discovery we make adds another piece to that puzzle and you know the best thing about this puzzle there is no limit to what we can discover since every new piece of knowledge leads to more questions and more things to find out sometimes we find that a piece of this puzzle has been put in the wrong place and needs to be moved new discoveries often change our understanding of the world as you go through this book you will encounter interesting ideas do some thought provoking experiments and see how some of what we will find out is useful in our daily lives and guess what happens as we discover more and more we start realizing that these ideas are all connected it means science is like a giant jigsaw puzzle every time we discover something new we add a piece to the puzzle but the fun part is this puzzle never ends each answer leads to more questions sometimes we even realize oops we had put a piece in the wrong place but that's okay that's how science grows we learn unlearn and learn again but what will we explore with the help of this book we will start off by looking at our home planet earth it is the only planet we know that supports life and it has an environment that we must protect there is an amazing variety of life on earth plants and animals that have managed to survive and thrive in different regions on this planet you might have seen a seed grow into a plant a caterpillar transform into a beautiful butterfly and many more such observations how do these plants and animals grow of course to grow we need food to eat and especially in a large and diverse country like india food is so fascinating across the country we have different cuisines with their many tasty dishes what are they made of how do we find out students we know india is full of delicious dishes but have you ever thought what is food made of why do we need it science can help us answer that too and what about water along with food we need water to survive water is such a delightful substance have you ever jumped in a puddle when it rained do you ever wonder why and how it rains have you noticed that water freezes and becomes ice when we cool it and boils and becomes steam when we heat it do you enjoy drinking cool water in the summer or sharing with warm water in the winter how do we understand hot and cold whether it is water or our own body when we have fever finding out how hot something is can be important students how does it rain why does water turn into ice or steam science helps us understand hot and cold liquids and gases and so much more then again there are so many different things around us the paper we write on the metal key the plastic ruler and the rubber eraser in our box the magnet that keeps the box closed and clothes we wear the cup we drink milk in and so many other things what are they made of are they made of different materials how do we separate different materials from one another we will have an almost unending list of questions about everything on earth as we further explore this book but why limit our questions to the earth alone we can ask questions on things beyond the sun the moon and the millions of stars that shine in the sky whether you are learning about the structure of a leaf discovering how things move or separating the skin of a peanut seed we hope each chapter of this book will ignite your spirit of inquiry and hopefully you will have lots of questions on your mind 
Students, look around your room. Your pencil, your cup, your t-shirt, everything is made of materials. Plastic, wood, metal, rubber, what are these made of? How do we separate them? That's science again. Let's look beyond earth. What's out there? The sun, the moon, the millions of stars. So many questions just waiting to be asked. But how can we try to find answers to our questions on our own? Even though you may have not realized, you have already been finding answers to many of your questions. Suppose your pen stops writing. What would you do? You would ask yourself the question, Why did my pen stop writing? You might guess that the ink finished. You would then test guess by opening the pen and checking the ink refill. If it is empty, you would know that your guess was correct. But suppose you found that the ink was not finished. Now what would you do? You would make another guess. Perhaps the ink might have dried up. To test if this guess is correct or not, you will try something else. This is exactly how science works. The way you tried to find out why your pen stopped writing in is an example of the scientific method. Science is not just about memorizing facts and figures or doing experiments. It is about following a step-by-step -step process that helps us find answers to our questions. What are the steps that we can follow? First, we observe something that we find interesting or we do not understand. This makes us wonder and perhaps think of a question about it. Then we guess a possible answer to that question. We test this guess through experiments or more observations. We then try to analyze the results to see if it actually answers our question. Now here's a cool story. Imagine your pen suddenly stops writing. You ask, why did my pen stop? You guess, maybe the ink is over. You check, oh, it's not. You try again, maybe the ink is dry. You test it. Yes, that's it. Congratulations, you just used the scientific method. The steps are 1. Observe something 2. Ask a question 3. Guess an answer This is called a hypothesis 4. Test it 5. Find the result This is what real scientists do. Remember, you don't need a lab coat to be a scientist. Scientists are people who follow the scientific method to solve problems or do or to discover new things. But anyone who follows the scientific method is working like a scientist. Someone cooking food may be wondering why the dal has spilled out of the cooker. Was there too much water? Think of a bicycle repair person trying to find out why a tire is flat. From where did the air leak out? Or an electrician trying to find why a light bulb is not working. Is there some problem with the bulb or the switch? When we try to ask questions and find out answers, we are all in a way scientists. Students, a cook wondering why the dal spilled, an electrician fixing a bulb, a mechanic checking a flat tire, they are all scientists in action. Do you now realize that there are several daily life situations where we knowingly or unknowingly apply the scientific method? Though we all apply the scientific method to some extent, learning science will develop our capabilities for finding solutions to bigger problems and solving more mysteries of the universe. And to be able to learn science well, the first and foremost thing is to be curious and observe your surroundings keenly. And when we are curious, we start posing questions asking how and why. Just remember, the world is full of things we do not know, things that are waiting to be explored. 
साइंस इज रेयरली डन अलोन साइंटिस्ट अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड वर्क टूगेदर ऑफ एन एन लार्ज टीम्स सो इफ यू कैन नॉट फाइंड एन आंसर योर सेल्फ आस्क योर फ्रेंड्स टू हेल्प यू आउट इट इज ऑलवेज मोर फन टू डिस्कवर थिंग्स टूगेदर स्टूडेंट्स साइंस इज नॉट अ सोलो गेम साइंटिस्ट वर्क इन टीम्स जस्ट लाइक यू वर्क विथ फ्रेंड्स वेन वी शेयर आइडियाज वी लर्न मोर सो नेवर बी शाई टू आस्क और डिस्कस क्वेश्चन ऑफकोर्स रिमेंबर दैट यू विल नॉट फाइंड आंसर्स टू ऑल योर क्वेश्चन इन ग्रेड सिक्स डो नॉट वरी यू आर एम्बार्किंग अपॉन अ जर्नी ऑफ साइंस फॉर द नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स और इवन बियॉन्ड मच लाइक चिल्ड्रेन एंजॉइंग रेन साइंस इज ऑल अबाउट जॉयफुल एक्सप्लोरेशन एंजॉय योर साइंटिफिक जर्नी कीप एक्सप्लोरिंग एंड नेवर स्टॉप वंडरिंग about the amazing mysteries of the universe and asking questions are you ready to embark upon the exciting journey of science let us get started but remember students you won't learn everything in one day science is a journey a joyful journey of discovery so get ready to be amazed surprised and full of wise because to be a wise person you must be a wise person here is a little scientist challenge for you students ask a big why question pick one question and try to find the answer pick any one question you are curious about try to find the answer and comment below let's learn together because every big discovery starts with one little question if you liked this video hit the like button subscribe for more fun science with us and don't forget to stay curious because curiosity is the heart of science and remember scientists ask questions all the time and so can you